So I'm passing by 2023 and uh, so crazy, man. You remember that song? There was a song by Madonna. Uh, I don't know if it's called Playground or it used to be my playground. And she's talking about, I mean, I don't even know, but she's talking about some place. Used to be her playground, right? So this, I don't know what they're building here. This is the parking lot right here, literally right here. There was a, a place called the Agora Ballroom and uh, it was like a, they used to have a stage and they had, you know, rock bands would play there. And, but we had fights there. Man, like that was the place to fight. The girl ball, amateur and pro. And I mean, I saw, I saw Marlon Starling do an exhibition with Terry Say there. I fought Roberto Perez there. I fought Richard Holloway for the state title there in 1986. I fought Robert in 85. I fought Nick Mejia there. I mean, I remember Joey Negron, Carmelo Hernandez, Glenn Du Bois, uh, Richard Holloway fought there other times. I mean, Rick Wolfson against Alvin Turner. I mean, uh, uh, Alvin, um, what was that? Was that? Wilson, Alabama Al Wilson. Uh, wow. So you drive by and people drive by now and they don't. You know, this was all just gravel until last year and they started building whatever they're doing here. And uh, so people have no idea and then they're gonna build whatever they build here and no one will have any idea. The fights I saw, like I said, I saw Marlon Starling in 1986 do an exhibition against Terry Say here. I saw I saw Kudalik's fight here against Danny Chapman and Ron Sulem and uh, I remember Kuda getting dropped against Sulem and he got up one by knockout. He did that a few times. Exciting fights we saw. I mean, man, Edwin Rodriguez and Jesus Manzan, Muhammad Shabazz. Muhammad was like an idol of mine and I remember watching him fight here and being in his dressing room after, I thought it was a big deal. I was like 17 years old, I thought it was a big deal being in the dressing room and you know him being there and me just being a part of it and man girl ball no. those were the days 19 you know I fought there in 85 86 around that time but uh time matter of fact matter of fact the first pro fight I ever saw live was Papo Figueroa against Felix Nance at the Girl Ballroom. Papo was defending New England welterweight champion and he lost a decision against uh, Felix in a good, good, good fight. I just remember it being a good, good fight, like a high level fight action, you know, at a, at a club, at like a club, you know, show in Hartford, no TV or anything. And it was a high level fight, really good fight. New England Championship, welterweight. That was the end of 1983. That was my first pro fight that I went to that I remember watching. Crazy. And I, I remember back then, <laughs> the, the, the building was right here and I remember this girl, she liked me, we liked each other, Patty. And she came and I, I'll never forget, she had a like a blue poncho on. And my father he kept talking about it for years. He was like, oh, remember Patty with the blue poncho? He thought he was saying how pretty she was. She had the blue poncho on. I remember my brother got into a little argument here that with a guy named Eric Miller that ended up turning into a huge thing like a couple months later downtown. They got into it, but it all started here. And, uh, ah, oh, man. So much stuff. I saw so many guys fought here, and now it's just nothing. You know, they're building something, but the Goro Ballroom is long gone. Everybody knows a place like this. Something when they were a kid and when they were younger. Yeah, it's gone.